Hello, I'm Baker Kirkpatrick, a member of the Stewardship Committee. The coronavirus has changed how churches deliver the message to their congregations, and that holds true for us here at St. Timothy, as well as our stewardship activities. Today I have church members Ron Grove and Rod Lively with me, and we will discuss what being a member of St. Timothy means to them and what part stewardship plays. What part does stewardship <coughs> mean to you? And another part of the question is, how is it important to you? Well, stewardship. So uh, the first thing I did was look up a definition of stewardship. And I actually wrote it down, so I'm going to cheat. So I also found out that there's like a zillion definitions there's of a lot stewardship. Of definitions, yes. So one that I sort of settled on was uh, utilizing and managing all the resources that God provides for the glory of God and the betterment of his creation. So pretty simple. So, you know, when people hear the word stewardship, the first thing they think of is money. And obviously that's a big part of what we have to do. We have to support all of our programs. We have to support this building. We have to do all of that. But pastor always talks about treasure, time, yeah. and talent. And so we all have at least some of that. And uh, if we're able to bring any, any piece of those three um, to the church, it, it makes such a huge difference. And so that's my takeaway of uh, what stewardship is. That's great. Wish you all could take that and yeah. go with it. And I, I, I tend to agree with that too. Uh, it also, uh, it's this, the selflessness of service. You know, if you can't afford the monetary aspects of stewardship, <laughs> There's, you know, getting involved with church activities and, you know, the community garden, which we, you know, proceeds go to help, you know, mm -hmm. homeless and, you know, it's just, um, and it makes you feel good. It's, it makes you it feel good. It does make you feel good. You know, when you, when you give of yourself, mm -hmm. whether that's monetary or wisdom or, you know, hard work or labor, you know, it just makes you feel good. And I think that's the biggest part of stewardship is doing something that makes you as well as others feel good about what you're doing. And at the same time, keeping the church, you know, alive. That's right. Well, you know, I think it's, we'd look at it as our privilege to be able to help in some small way to, to make things better. I mean, we, 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 have, we love this church. That's great. And we, um, you know, we try to contribute where we can. I always describe it as that feeling of, you know, a bowl of chili, a football game, and a crisp bottom day. It makes you feel, you feel all that warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do have one other question for you. Okay. Why did you choose to come to St. Timothy when there's so many choices? Well, it's interesting, and I've told this story a lot, but uh, I stalked this church for a year before we ever actually met okay. with Pastor Gross because we were looking for a church that we would feel comfortable at and that we mm -hmm. would feel included in. And, um, you know, I, I, so I kept watching the Facebook page and I saw the garden and I, we were both into that. And, um, and so we set up a time to meet with the pastor Gross and came to our first service and we were hooked. Yeah. I think it's, um, <clears throat> above all else, we've always had a love of God. God has been very kind to both of us, you know, and when you look at, the inclusiveness, mm -hmm. inclusiveness of uh, St. Timothy. I think that's, that's what made us feel that this was the right choice. This was home, you know, okay. after looking at so many places that, you know, and you know, one of the golden, you know, one of the is don't judge, yeah. you know, how do you have a religious organization that can tell somebody because of their color, race, orientation, whatever, that they, they don't belong. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that we saw at St. Timothy was, you know, everybody's included. And that just makes you feel that you want to be part of such a great church. And that's, that's why we got here. Very good. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you f for making this video with me. Please join me again when other church members will tell us how stewardship and St. Timothy affect their lives and make a note that our Commitment Sunday is Sunday, November 1st, and our theme this year is Physically Distanced, Spiritually Connected.
Thank you.